I'm just gonna just wing this and start showing off some of my models. The first actual model that I successfully printed was basically just like the, the grunts of the army. And so I had a lot of drama with these guys not printing properly. I just wanna rip these dudes off. Oh my gosh, I just broke his leg. Ah, oh, rip. <laughs> okay, at least the leg came off. Rip this guy. <sighs> Uh, I think there's too much super glue, it's not gonna dry. Oh my gosh, now there's tissue stuck. To okay, this guy, surely. Then I got these guys. So these guys are like supposed to be like soul snatchers and you can see a bit of his chest is like flat there. I don't think anyone's really gonna notice unless I've pointed it out. This guy looks like a little alligator, but he's an alien. He looks like he's having the time of his life. The guys here, this guy, look at that gun. That's kind of cool. Yeah, this is, I think this is actually the Soul Snatcher boss. I really love the detail. Like even like the detail on their chest and stuff is pretty cool. Ravenous beast there. I think the details, yeah, not as good. You can see that it's a little lump. There we go, gone. There's nothing there, but I can't be bothered to try fix that. After like a lot of failures, he was the first one. Um, So these guys are pretty cool. They got like a little gun, pretty like big models. Yeah, it's a bit hard to stack them. Like if I try to put three side by side. This, this almost works. Hey, it kind of works. Company. Like this guy is like pretty cool. Like, look at that little squid work face. Comparison to like one of the small guys. It's a pretty cool guy. It's supposed to be a prime warrior and I gave him wings. So they got like, yeah, they kind of float around. These little demon, ugly, gross, they've got like cuts you can see in there. I printed eight of them. Yeah, I was going for a kill team, a death guard. And so you need eight pox walkers and pox walkers are usually skinny. I'll put like a piece. Peace and resistance, my teenage mutant ninja turtles, but they all. So we got uh, Michelangelo with the nunchuck, got Raphael with the size. We got, I gave um, Leonardo the kind of cool skull mask. And we got uh, Donatello with the like staff. And so we've got some centaurs. This one's got a horn. This one's arm kind of, hopefully when it's painted, so when I look at that, oh, that sculpting is terrible. But like it kind of cut and split there across the shoulder, like the top half, like lifted up. And so I kind of tried to fill the gap and then put some spikes there, but it's already printed the base as well. So it's like a hunter. And it's hilarious just how like flimsy, I don't want to break the arrows, but the arrows are like, Shaman, a beastman shaman, so he's kind of blind. If you know League of Legends, at least in the Blind Monk, he's got some bandages over him. Beast Lord, so he's supposed to be like the hero. Quite a few of these I need to tidy up, but I love the detail on the shield. Guy, <laughs> if you look at his like leg, this front one, it's like mangled. Like these jetpack orcs, which are pretty cool. They get in each other's way. Like they still look cool. Beastman army, he's got a cyclops here, so I'm really happy with this. I've printed parts and you can see the green stuff lines. They come with these slots that you can insert, but I found just my printing's not too accurate and so the slots don't actually fit and so I'm better off just cutting them. A uh, slimy base, so it's pretty big. I had to scale this one down 85%, uh, but it's only 85% of what it's size, so it'd be a bit bigger. Archer side by side, you can see just how big it is. War boss, I think he's gonna be a proxy beast rider, so it's like a mechanical beast. But um, what happened was the arm misprinted and so I had to get like a spare arm and then green stuff. stuff. Hopefully I've done the muscles okay like just to kind of get that effect but like definitely down by the wrist it's pretty like munted they're a bit bigger i'll get um one of the warriors side by side with it but this the hammer i think i had like five or six attempts this hammer in the hand um so i've come out this was like one if you've watched uh my first week owning a 3d printer this was the one i tried to print and it like failed um i scaled this one down to 90 percent kind of save it and this one wasn't hollow the other stuff that they printed, it's hollow, but this one's like solid resin, so it's a lot. I think this like the squigs, but they're like a wheel and a jaw. It's almost like Pac-Man. <laughs>